1. Consistent happiness. The Sigma male lives in a constant state of happiness. Experiencing emotions such as anger, fear, loneliness, jealousy, or sadness are extremely rare occurrences in his life. If he ever experiences unhappiness it is only because of some unusual rare event beyond his control, like a parent dying or an entire economy crashing. On the rare occasions he feels sadness, it is an experience of compassion motivating him to help or defend others. A man who is happy sometimes but upset others is either a beta male living within the prison or an alpha angrily banging against the bars. A man who is not truly and consistently happy is missing the entire point of masculine existence. Happiness is such an important trait in the Sigma male that I've devoted the entire next chapter to it. 2. Confidence. The Sigma male is a confident man, striding boldly though life, with full knowledge of what he's doing and the path he's on. Confident does not mean fearless or soulless. The Sigma is still a human being with human emotions, but he is never paralyzed or demoralized by fear, indecision, or timidity. A man who is not confident will not possess the drive or desire necessary to achieve and maintain Sigma status. He cannot attract money or women in abundance whenever he desires. A timid man will not be able to sit in meetings with potential clients or dealmakers and come out a winner, nor can he ask that super hot woman on a date, nor do the bold things necessary to turn the date into fast sex. He is destined to live a life of mediocrity at best. 3. Masculinity. A man who is not masculine may be a perfectly fine person, but he's not in Sigma. Nothing's wrong with a more feminine man, particularly if he lives in a culture where more effeminate men are accepted and celebrated. I'm also not talking about sexual orientation here, I'm referring to demeanor and outlook. There are certainly many high-functioning men in modern society who range from moderately masculine to not masculine at all. The problem goes back to the first trait of the Sigma, which is consistent happiness. And Sigma is not a man flying high because he's just snagged a great new girlfriend and who then is crying in his beer a year later because she dumped him. One of the hallmarks of masculinity is constancy, and one of the core traits of femininity is inconsistency and change. Women, and by extension, more feminine men, value not only positive emotions, but a full range of emotions, both the good and the bad. This requires constant change, not stability. Maintaining only positive emotions for feminine people is not only damn near impossible, but they really don't want it. Being happy all the time is boring to them. They desire change. Therefore, while both a masculine and a feminine man can achieve happiness, only the masculine man will have the ability to maintain it in some consistent fashion. More neutral or feminine men will sometimes be happy, sometimes be unhappy, and sometimes be somewhere in between. 4. Freedom. A man who is not free cannot live the life of an Sigma. Freedom is perhaps the most important of them all. A man can be extremely tough, muscular, and masculine, but if he's sitting in a real-life prison cell, he's not capable of living the life he chooses. A man can be charismatic good-looking, great with women, and the life of the party, but if he only makes $25,000 a year, he'll never have the resources to live the life he really wants. A man can be intelligent, educated, wealthy, and successful. But if he's married to a woman who won't let him buy that new truck, or screams at him whenever he's 10 minutes late, he is nowhere near Sigma. The Sigma wakes up every morning of every day and is able to, within legal and realistic financial constraints, do whatever the hell he wants, whenever he wants, without having to check with anyone. 